welcome to Estonian Cricket Weekly. I am Ragne Hallik. Before we start, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and share it with your friends to help us spread Estonian cricket to the world. This week we had the last domestic cricket in Estonia for 2022. There were two matches in the Men's Indoor League Division 2 and the final round of Women's Indoor League as well as the last session of our Keats Introduction to Cricket program. Unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, there were no live streams and we have no video highlights of any of the weekend's games. Match 1 saw the Viking Stars against Tartu Cricket Club. Tartu batted first and scored 113 with a good performance from pair 2 getting 63, but the Viking Stars scored 148 and won by 35 runs. Player of the match was Shana Wass. Match 2 saw Tatu against the Hippos. Tatu batted first again and scored 152 with pair 4 getting 60. The Hippos only scored 67 giving Tatu a win by 85 runs. Player of the match Aditya Savio. In the women's league Sarama took on Talana. In the first game, Sarama batted first and scored 95 with a good performance across all their pairs. Talana could only manage 48 in reply, giving Sarama a 47 run victory. Player of the match, Anna Marie Vesic. Match 2, Talana batted first and could only manage 38, pair 2 getting 25. Sarama scoring 62 with some good performances there and a 24-run victory. Player of the match was Amy Pattenden. The men's indoor Division 1 table sees Stallions and Wolves on top with 6 points, United close behind followed by Strikers and Riders. In Division 2, the Viking Stars out on top with 4 points with the Bulls, Hippos and Tartu all on 2 points. And this was the last week of the first women's indoor league. Sarama taking out the title, Penguins second and Talana coming in third. This week was the final session of the ECA's 8-week Introduction to Cricket program for children ages 4 to 12. The course was a huge success, with 24 kids participating. The program was based on the ICC's CREO cricket program that focuses on movement and physical literacy. Session also included games of non-stop cricket. ECA would like to thank all the kids, parents and coaches for their help to make this program such a success. There will be more introductory sessions in 2023 and the kids who participated in this program will be continued to play non-stop cricket and furthering their skills in the new year. As there are no more domestic league matches this year, we won't have any tips from Terry. However, there will be one last cricket match on the calendar for 2022. This Saturday, December 17th, the Estonian women's national team will travel to Helsinki to take on Finland in the Finnes Cup. The side will play a T10 game inside a huge sports hall. This will be the first time the Finnes Cup has been played for a few years. 
In the past, it was an annual event, with matches played both indoors and outdoors. Thanks to our sponsors, Plaf VPN, Sportsbet.io, HML Project Management, Nordecon Beton, and High.com for their continued support of cricket in Estonia.